in my last little episode, I had a typo of a sort. Well, it couldn't really be a typo because I'm not writing anything down. Just a word, a word slip. And I said something like, in my last episode, I said something like, I that's why I rejoice when there's unity between the Scots and the, I said Celts. Well, that's redundant. If you're Scottish, you are Celtic. Um, what I meant to say, you could have probably guessed, is I rejoice when there's unity between the Scots and the Irish as one Celtic people. Uh, all right, so we're playing off Ga Galatians uh, f chapter 5, 15. It's a call for unity and a warning against the divisiveness, that division. We don't want there to be division. Okay, and uh, this is a letter to the Gauls. Keep in mind, this book is written specifically for the Celts. And uh, we just jump back in uh, verse 13, same chapter. And that's a call to liberty. Call to liberty. And how appropriate is that? So as the, the living, <coughs> excuse me, the living letter, the living word of St. Paul, which is relevant today, as, as much as it was uh, at uh, the time of Christ, a little after, a little after the time of Christ. It's uh, just as relevant now, at least as... Uh, relevant now, for that's the nature of the living letter. The living letter, which is in the hands of the Gauls, the Celts. We have a call for liberty, and uh, we're claiming this liberty as one Gaelic people, one Celtic people, because St. Paul has specifically warned about the dangers of division. So we don't want this, this, uh, this lightning to strike and divide what's one Celtic heart, what's one Gaelic people. We want unity if what we're after, what we're claiming is liberty. St. Paul has called called us unto liberty in verse 13, chapter 5. In terms of the Declaration of Independence for the Scots, 